Welcome back, all you uh, D-tubers. It's Beardius Gaming coming at you with another podcast, a special, especial. How's all that jingling? Am I having a stroke? Yes, you are. And uh, so, ignore the burning smell that you uh, might have uh, that might have be permeating at your nostrils, Ram Jam. We have important breaking news to discuss. Oh, burning smell! You're talking about. That's what happens when you have a stroke. Oh, you start yes. smelling burnt, burnt smell. toast. You're right. Or burnt hair. Yikes. So, E3. What strokes do you have? Slow Electronic, down. Electronic Entertainment Expo. Finally. E-Cute. It came. It's over. It went. And uh, finally, we can talk about it, right? Yes. Now that it's done, we're not, we're not breaking any legal ramifications. They cannot tender us with any lawsuits. We can discuss it. So, Ram Jam, with your unprecedented access, what have you found out? Well, you know, i got to be honest with you. C3 was terrible. There wasn't really a lot going on. We got uh, Game a big duck from that Colossus dude. Remember him? Wang. No. Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus. Never played that game. Okay. It was on an Adam Sandler movie. Where he plays a depressed guy after uh, the towers come down on 9-11. Okay. And he constantly plays uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Anyway, it's a game where you're a little dude and you beat up a really big monster. I guess uh, you've played God of War, right? It's Mm -hmm. sort of God of War on a much grander scale, if you can even imagine that. Anyway, you know, I don't know. Who wants to run around and jump on ducks? We got a little turtle game. Ninja Um, Turtles? Huh? Is it Ninja Turtles? No, they don't have a game out. Huh. Um, I don't no know. You ride changed. right around the flying tortoise. That's not really oh. fun. Not, not for you? No, I don't. No, it's not for anyone, really. If you get, that's what you're going to play, why don't you just fall down in a puddle, you know? Right. I, I saw a turtle that, the other day. that a flying turtle around. I saw a turtle the other day. Oh. You did? Mm-hmm. I saved it. Did you duck down between your legs? No, I um, found it in the middle of the road. It was trying to cross the road. I yeah. stopped and I helped it cross the Are road. Are you doing this just so people think you're a good person? Yes. Throwing this story out here? Getting a box turtle? That thing's going to give you salmonella. Throw it in the river. <laughs> Those are chickens. Oh, they and got it too. At any rate. So, yeah, I, I have a list here, Ram oh, Jam. You can of... fold your list up. We got, okay, uh, what do we got? The Call of Battlefields. Them games came out. And, uh, Call of Duty, yep. Huh? They, I think they they have a new. Uh, they're yeah. slowly and progressing into the future. Probably progress. N- no, well, not the one I'm talking about. You dumb honky. The one right. you're going to be most interested in. Let's face it, you're not going to be interested in these little spaceships, quasi rocket packs. They're flying around in orbit. You see that one? Infinite no. Warfare. Okay. That's like yep. ro- making a Rocky Infinity. This is the equivalent of Call of Duty goes to space. And uh, you know, whatever. Looks fun. You, you equating it to um, kind of like space balls? No, no, not space balls at all. Okay. I feel I like you haven't heard a word I've been saying. <laughs> anyway, that's not, not interesting. The okay. Call of Duty, what Continue. is it? Call of Duty one? Infinity. Yeah, throw it in the trash. It's garbage. You don't need it. little brother play it. They actually, I actually had an article. I read an article about Call of Duty, and they said that people who play Call of Duty are not gamers. I don't know about that, but who even wants to be called that? That's the lamest thing you could call yourself. I think there's worse things to be called yourself. Uh, pretty well, obviously. Pederast. Yeah. Nazi sympathizer. We don't want those things being said. Aryan nation. No, I'm go- I'm trying to stay within the realm of okay. possibility here. Continue. It's, yeah. Anyway, the thing I think you're going to be probably most interested in is uh. Battlefield 1. It goes back okay. to World War II. You know, no one's going to be interested in that unless you're a uh, member of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Why is that? What's wrong with the Austro-Hungarian Empire? Uh, nothing. Uh, well, it was a collection of highly inefficient st- city-states that left Germany holding the bag back in W1. But, you know, this is true. that. They've had, they have their they have their their perks. 
He's Arnold came from Austria. Filthy Prussians. Yeah, you don't oh. hear much about the Prussians anymore. No. Watch you now. You just lost your one Prussian subscriber. I mean, we don't have anything against Prussians, mind you. It's just. I do. No, you don't. You don't even. You have never even met a Prussian. Why? What are they trying to steal Russia's name? Eh, can't think of a name. We'll just take Russia. Put a P on the front. Why don't they put a D? Drusha. <laughs> Drusha. I like that better. <laughs> Say that to so the what else cop came out? on the way home, he's gonna think you're drunk. No, I'm from Russia. Uh, Do, um, what about, yeah, what so about you got these, the World uh, War One game games? where you can be a uh, a Prussian? You don't see too many World War One games. You see a lot of World War Two. Yeah. You don't see too much of Vietnam. Vietnam War games. Yeah, though. but uh, it, it's oh a yeah, there's historically bad Vietnam War games. Um, but uh, at what point are Kids not even gonna respond to this. Like, are we gonna make a revolutionary war game? I played a revolutionary war game back on the. When day. was this? Uh, it was a Half Life Two mod. Really? Yeah, it was pretty interesting. I had a lot of fun with it, but I just don't see this uh, Call of Duty generation uh, being interested in it. No, not with um, Call of Duty coming out with a new game every year oh, well, and Assassin's Creed. I'd say Creed how far they can out. go back. The Far Cry game just made a caveman version, so I guess I can go back. I saw that. I saw far. that on um, Conan. I saw Conan uh, playing that with PewDiePie. Mm. It seemed kind of weird, honestly. Big PewDiePie um, fan there, Matt. Big fan of the no. pewds. Pewds or the dies. Um, but I think, you know, I think, uh, you know, cavemen don't get their due. I mean, not since Joe and Mac. I don't know if you ever played that back in the way back in the day. Uh, I never Chuck, did. Chuck Rock or Bonk. That's yeah. Caveman game. I'll have to know. see if uh, Steam has that. Maybe I'll showcase. Maybe saw, that's an excellent point. I saw a playthrough of Altered Beast the other day. I forgot how yeah. homoerotic that game was. Really? Oh yeah. You ever see Custer's Revenge? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Where they get <laughs> shot in the dick with the arrow. <laughs> He's just running it's around like, buck naked with a massive erection. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, needless to say, that, anyway, that, back to E3. You got like the black and white games. Like I said, uh, oh, new Zelda game. You know? Yeah, they're saying that that's highly ambitious. Give it a rest. I see some screenshots of that. He's holding around giant magnets and stuff. Giant I don't know. Magnets. They, they strung this, uh, they strung this load of laundry clean. Quite a while. It's tough. I haven't. I haven't played a. I haven't played a Zelda game in years. I played. It was the original Zelda. Gold cartridge. Yep, yep. that was one of the first, the, very first. With, um, a um, save that, that they pioneered. Some of our um, other viewers might know it as the Famicom. Yes. Yep, the Famicom. Yep. I, uh, god damn that Famicom ran circles around me. Yeah. Some of my fondest memories of, uh, my youth. Yep, button mashing. Button mashing and, uh, password, uh, typically with, uh, password, uh, unlocked levels because they didn't have a save cartridge. Oh. A lot of games didn't. Uh, the first, I think, was Zelda, I think, who had a, um, actual save state where yeah. you could actually save your game Amazing. in place it was breaking technology and now everybody's talking about this oculus rift yeah you hear anything about that oh yeah i'm gonna retire in one <laughs> once i yeah, have I, enough I, money to just ride out my life i'm gonna get one of those and live in it <laughs> i'm gonna eat gruel and i won't even care i'll just get some sort of protein solution injected directly into my gut a little bit and, uh, of like soylent green. Oh yeah, huge bottles of Astroglide, and uh, so I'm gonna live the rest of my life flying jets and uh, you know, jerking Just it. Just being everything that you could never attain in real life. <laughs> no, I could definitely attain one of those two things. <laughs> <laughs> I would really fly a jet. Um. Speaking of jets, the Mafia 3 game has a jet. 
and who cares? Yeah, I mean, I, I've never, I've never played the series myself. I thought it's, I, it seems like a ripoff of The Godfather. Yeah. Kind of starts off in like the 1930s, 1920s. Yeah, it kind of continues on. To, uh, uh, the, the, the new fans. one, I don't know. They've got, uh, you know, different like, different times game. I think it's in uh, set in some weirdo state. Uh, it's supposed to be like Nevada or something. Mm, is it? I don't know. No, I don't I think don't so. Think. I think they're setting it down on the bayou. And there's really? gonna be some voodoo I, I and some Haitian juju. And, I didn't really uh, think the mafia really extended down to the, uh, oh, the bayou. Yeah. And they all talk like Frenchmen with Down syndrome. Now you sound like you're coming out of True Blood. Yeah, I'm drinking some True Blood. Eating some corn pone with my crowd dad. What do you have to? What do you, What have you heard about? They have the new Deus Ex game coming out. Oh. Did you ever play that when the Shut first it. one came I out? I played the first one and it was beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite games. One of the my uh, top five games of all time. What are your top five games, Ram Jam? You, oh, you, you spend a lot God. of time ridiculing the uh, the gamer nation. Um, but I know, deep down, because you're the one who turned me on to Fallout. I never knew about it before you. Yeah. That's and you, 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 you showed me how to pirate it. The original two Fallout games, right up yep. there. So we got Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Deus Ex. Yeah. Hmm. We got two more in top five. Can I do Half-Life and Half-Life 2 as one? Yeah, yeah, Half Life. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah, I don't know if the viewers will, but they'll have to take it up with you if they don't. Oh, tribes, tribes, just for the online multiplayer. That was yeah. madness back in the day. Utter madness. These kids don't know what they have these days. What about you, good sir? I didn't see this turning into a top five favorite games podcast, but uh, well, what's maybe you, we can sir? bring it up. Well, let's well, see. Well, it's not like there's anything good to talk about E3. We got a yeah. We I got mean, a I've never... game with dead people. We got a game where you have to know, pretend yeah. to take let's, apart let's, a puzzle. Let's, let's sum it up. We have we about got, uh, two and a half minutes left. A virtual reality game with wizards. Who wants to be we a, have, a a wizard? We have, we have wizards. We have virtual reality. We have zombies. Ooh. We have space, and we probably have uh, some sort of JRPG, some Japanese RPG. Yeah, you know, probably. I, you know, a you bunch know. of games are free. Just go play all the free games these days. Yeah, Damn I mean, you can kids. get some of these. You can get amazing games. Here's a plug. in Steam, if people start subscribing, buying shit off your goddamn site because of this, I want to cut. buying them each a game? No. You're buying them Call you're of Duty. You're making shit up again. Stop it. So we uh, go to wow. Steam. You can find some of these amazing games that have broken out throughout the 80s, 90s for do pennies on the dollar. A game that used to spend, uh, used to have to cost you maybe 40, 50 bucks. You can get on Steam for 10, 20 bucks. Um, it's American dollars, mind you. That's um, Bucks is American for uh, dollar signs. All right, all right. Don't talk to these people like they're completely stupid, Matt. Come on. Bring it together. All What's right, your what top you five? To top up? five games. That's what we're talking about. That's why we're here. Okay. That's why I'm um, you got Diablo. And uh, like you, you with the whole series on that one. Uh one oh, and two. Fucking shit. Anyway. Uh oh. Ahead. What happened? We got a party foul. Oh. All right. Yeah. You Diablo. Okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, we have uh, well, we have about thirty seconds left, so we're gonna have to pick this up in the next episode. Good, this one. But again, remember, like what we said, and if you watch the intro, the welcome video, watch it, like, subscribe, share it with your lovers, your occasional lovers, your Send women. Send us Doritos. Side. Send what we got to share it with? Vietnamese share this fucking video. Doritos. And we'll see you again next time.